uh, Joe Coffey here for PremierGuitar.com. We're at the New York Amp Show 2009, checking out some cool stuff. How's this for an, uh, an amp product name? The Tone Bra. Huh? Did that pique your interest? Uh, I've got Frank Lamara with me here. Frank, how you doing? Good, how are you, Joe? Good, good to see you. All right, so Frank, this is a funky looking device here. What, what is this, man? This is called the Tone Bra. Uh, and it's about uh, putting this in front of the center of your speaker, which the voice call in your speaker has that ice picky high, gacky sound that nobody likes. Everybody loves the sound of the cone around the speaker. Uh, so what we've done is sort of smoothed out the tone, gotten rid of the, the real scratchy ice pick high, make it more like a vintage Celestian or any of the old you know, Jensen's or any of the old speakers that have been broken in for the last 20, 30 years. But if you don't have 30 years, this kind of gives you that same vintagey tonality uh, gets rid of some of the screech. We've also done some other things for like volume management, like uh, this little tone cover here allows you to um, take uh, and block off one to four of your speakers, so you can reduce your volume and still keep your basic tone. Uh, we also have what we call a tone skirt, which is a little sort of plastic little shield which will block off some of your speakers uh, so that you can reduce some of your stage volume. But the best one that we have here for overall serious volume reduction is our new little speaker attenuator. You go, hey, I, I know what attenuators are, the load boxes. But this is 100% reactive. A lot of load boxes out there are all good, uh, except this one keeps the, the feel and the sound of the amplifier 100% intact. And what we're doing right now is we'll show you um, Right now it's uh, at a 12 dB reduction. This is a stock, uh, this is a Metro Amp stock Super Lead clone uh, that's 100 watts behind the guitar, my LA Custom guitar, which Ty Tabor has been playing for the last year. Um, but basically, let's take this 100 watt Marshall and reduce it to a reasonable volume. Uh, as opposed to the 100 watt Marshall stock, Okay, so that's going to get you fired, okay? Uh, so this one will keep you employed. Uh, your girlfriend won't kick you out of the house. Uh, and it's a real simple box that is 100% reactive, guaranteed. It does not affect your tone or anything. Uh, and because if it doesn't feel right and it doesn't sound right, it's not going to happen. That's cool you brought this. Obviously a prototype. In, in, in the making, but uh, as far as getting it ready for market, what should we know as far as uh, pricing and availability? Uh, the pricing will probably be about $300 list for the standalone box. It's probably going to be about half that size when it's in final production. And the, uh, it's also going to be a, a unit that's going to be uh, built into your cabinet so we can make it as an aftermarket kit to add it to your existing cabinetry or sell this as uh, a complete speaker cabinet unit either in an agnator or any other type of cabinet that's made so that you can um, get it, gain it instantly without having to add the box. So there's the box, there's the aftermarket kit built into the cabinet. The aftermarket kit will be about $200, uh, probably an hour install into your cabinet. Um, Two, three hundred for it retail as it is, and uh, whatever we, you know, price it beyond a stock cabinet once it's actually built into a cabinet. Uh, probably about two, three months away from actually going into production, and it's going to look a lot cooler than the prototype that I hand made and painted <laughs> myself. But it works. It'll be that exact uh, gadget, and uh, the reaction to the show has been tremendous. You know, everybody wants some way of attenuating their amplifier and still feel right. We still love to have power tube distortion. It works well in even high gain amps like my Agnator Mod 50 uh, with our higher gain channels. Still can benefit from the amp being cranked, turning the preamp down, giving it power tube push, but managing it all at a reasonable level. Hey, and that's the idea. Before we go, let's take a look at this LA guitar too. You said uh, this is what Ty Tabor has yeah, been playing. Is, uh, this is a guitar that we made. Um, and it's a, an idea that I, I don't know, I spent like the last 10 years trying to make happen. But I wanted something that was an ultimate combination of a Les Paul and like a Telecaster, which I jokingly call a Lester. Uh, but we made these, and Ty Tabor has a couple of these now. He's been touring with them for the last year. This is kind of like Ty's model. He wanted all black. And uh, uh, that's basically the, the essence of this guitar. 
and everything is sort of designed to all work well together, sound well together, and allow you to have you know, the ultimate playing experience at a reasonable volume. Frank, if people want to find out more about these products, where can they go? Okay, well, if you want to find out about a LA Custom Guitars, you want to find out about the Tone Bra, the Tone, what are we calling this? The Tone Skirt. The Tone Skirt. And we don't have a name for this, so we are, uh, anybody who comes up with the name for the, the high, um, what are we calling this today? The, uh, uh, the, uh, the, the highly advanced uh, attenuation system, which needs a much better name. Uh, we'll give you a free box if you come up with the keeper name. Um, but basically, go to Amp Lounge uh, at AOL.com is my email address. Amp Lounge dot com is my website that's going to uh, be up in about a week, so you can go to that. But uh, if you call Amp Lounge at uh, 248-553-3400, ask for Frank or Don or Derek, and we'd be happy to tell you the whole story. Thanks a lot for your time, Frank. Thank you, gentlemen. As always, good to see you, man. I'm Joe Coffey. You're watching PremierGuitar.com.